There you go. So no Chicago fan should feel sad. There's not one Chicago fan out there that should feel sad. You guys have had a lot of success. You had Michael Jordan, right? 85 Bears. The Bears is a little rough, you know, but you got the, the Blackhawks are making up for it. And all you Cub fans, I don't have, you guys, do you, you don't even care. You started caring when some fucking nerd wearing a Walkman touched a foul ball and you all piled on him like, like the fucking pussies you are. Chicago Cub fans. What about the other six guys standing around who also reached up for the ball? What's the matter? Were they out of your weight class? You wanted that guy with his little hat pulled down over his head? You fucking punks. I don't have any sympathy for Chicago Cubs fans because they don't even give a fuck. They've only given a fuck for like the last 10 years. But other than that, it's just been take your shirt off and let's have a keg party. Nobody cares. You're, they're almost like an honorary baseball team. Like, eh, you know, just, just represent the fact that people like the game. You know, the White Sox fans, they care. They give a fuck. It's written all over their goddamn faces. You know, they still miss their old ballpark. They hate that new place. You see them coming in with their heads down going, look at this stupid ass fucking thing. You know, we had a classic fucking car and we traded it in on a Ford Taurus. What the fuck did we do? You know, so you can feel for those guys. They give a fuck. Chicago Cub fans do not give a shit. All right. So if you're a tourist, if you ever go to Chicago and you run into somebody, you know, and they got a passion for what they're doing, that's a White Sox fan. If you run into just some fucking jerk off, you know, sitting there wearing loafers with no socks, you know, and some silly fucking let's play two hat, that is a Cubs fan. And they are not to be respected.